Here is another one of those interesting stair design videos. And it's going to be a stairway is going to be built out of concrete. And I'm going to probably have about three or four different shapes or sizes of concrete and uh, to build this. And one of them is going to be this two foot by eight foot. And the other is going to be four foot by eight foot. And you can always change the increments on or the measurements on these according to your um, project. For example, I could cut this in half and make it um, four foot by two foot. And this one here, I could make it one foot by four foot and probably get the same design. Um, but you'd have to work, work with that and see if it would be possible. So we're going to have a sloping section for our ramp and then a horizontal section for our stairs. Just kind of giving you an idea of what we're going to be working with here. And then we are simply going to connect a few of these together to create our shape. And now we can see it starting to form the ramp and a few of the steps here. Next up, let's add a few more components here. And if you can see, I changed the size here of this one here. I just kind of put it a different color to um, show you that I changed it. But they were all, they're also different sizes here. These are still the same sizes, but I kind of wanted to give you an idea of what you could do as long as the width of everything would work for your ramp. So you could always change the design by changing the sizes in certain sections um, also. And that might be helpful depending upon your type of project. So here you can see where we have a stairway kind of forming up here. Our ramp is going up to a landing and then back up here at an angle. And if that didn't make sense, this should right here. You can see after we fill these areas in and reshape our components, we have a nice stairway coming up. So from the landing down here to the landing up here, so lower level to upper level, you can just simply go straight up the stairs or you can use the ramp with this type of design. So we have a stairway here, and if you went up the ramp here, you could always go up the stairs here. These angled steps might not be that big of a problem. I, I don't like to see them in a stairway, but again, this is just a creative design. I found a picture of it on the internet. I did not think this up on my own. And uh, you'll see here in a few minutes why this might not be feasible, or at the very least, um, meet your local building codes. Now let's go ahead and finish this section off here. So we have another stairway coming up here. So you could always come up this stairway here and then go up the ramp or come up here and then go up the stairs the rest of the way. And after we fill this area in, that should make sense. So you could come up here to the landing and then go up the stairs the rest of the way. So here we have some stairs going up here. So we basically would have a path of travel in almost every direction. You could actually just cut across here if you wanted to. Come up here, cut across here, come up here, walk over to here, and then come up here, walk over to here, and then use the ramp, of course. And hopefully this makes sense, how you can use something like this. Come up the stairs, like I said, use the ramp. And of course, the ramp here might be a problem because it might not meet local building codes without some type of a handrail or guardrail. So this would be a grippable handrail, something you could hold on to while walking up the ramp or a guardrail to prevent you from somehow getting to a certain point and stumbling off of it. And for something like this, I would almost guarantee that you're going to need a handrail at the very minimum, but uh, probably a guardrail. I mean, if you could just imagine someone coming down the stairs here in a wheelchair, coming down or down the ramp, I mean, and somehow getting off track a little bit 
and then tumbling down. This wouldn't be a pretty picture. So the ramp is going to need a handrail um, and very good chance that you could still use a design like this, but there would be certain areas that would not be operational or functional. So you could actually build something like this, I'm guessing, where you could have a handrail coming up here and you could use this stairway. And then you could have a um, handrail or a guardrail coming up around here on the inside and uh, working for the ramp. But that would provide you with an area in the center and on the bottom and on the top here that wouldn't be uh, you wouldn't be able to use. So, you know, you, you come around the corner here. I mean, And again, people design stuff like this all the time. It's what they want. And, um, you know, they might put potted plants um, here or even some type of statues, other architectural design items, or even remove these areas and fill them with landscaping. So anyway, that is it for the video. If this is some uh, wacky design, let us know. Something that you've seen somewhere, let us know. Or if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button.